Hey boys and girls, hey moms and dads. I have to say I am super sorry uh, to be shooting this video in my living room. I miss seeing all of your faces today in church, um, but I'm glad that you're watching this and I'm glad that you're joining me. So today, if you were joining us in Kids Church at the actual location, we would have been talking about the country of Togo, which is on the continent of Africa. We'd be praying for our missionaries and we would be focusing on missions and why we give to missions. So today, I'm gonna give you a little snapshot of some of the things that your money that you've given to BGMC over the last year have helped to do in Africa. And I want you to know what that is all about. And then I've got some activities that you can try at home if you get bored as you're waiting for school to start. I know some of you started this past week and I heard you had a great time. So yay for a good school year. Um, the rest of you, I know it's coming up. So we'll be praying for you as well. But let's go ahead and get started with our day. Hey boys and girls, hey moms and dads. I have to say I am super sorry uh, to be shooting this video in my living room. I miss seeing all of your faces today in church, um, but I'm glad that you're watching this and I'm glad that you're joining me. So today, if you were joining us in Kids Church, at the actual location, we would have been talking about the country of Togo, which is on the continent of Africa. We'd be praying for our missionaries and we would be focusing on missions and why we give to missions. So today, I'm gonna to give you a little snapshot of some of the things that your money that you've given to BGMC over the last year have helped to do in Africa. And I want you to know what that is all about. And then I've got some activities that you can try at home if you get bored as you're waiting for school to start. I know some of you started this past week and I heard you had a great time. So yay for a good school year. Um, the rest of you, I know it's coming up. So we'll be praying for you as well. But let's go ahead and get started with our day. Boys and girls, I'm so glad that you've joined me. I hope that moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas are all sitting in the room with you, whoever's in your house. If not, make sure you go get them. Um, because missions is not just something that we do with our kids, it's something that we all participate in. So today we're talking about the country of Togo. It kind of looks like Togo, but you actually pronounce it Togo. And you can see it's on the continent of Africa. It's located in West Africa. It's a little bit smaller than our state of West Virginia. And one of the cool things about Togo that kind of relates here to Missouri is that it's fairly flat. And up here in Northern Missouri, it's fairly flat. And over into Kansas, we see a lot of flat plains. Um, the south of Togo is fairly flat, kind of like here. Um, but the north gets a lot more um, hilly and more mountainous as you go north. Now the flag of Togo, you can see it's got green and yellow and then it's got the red with the white star. If you watch the Olympics, the Summer Olympics, maybe you'll notice the flag of Togo as they enter into the stadium and you'll be able to say, oh, I remember talking about that. A couple of quick facts about Togo. The capital city, this is really fun to say, you have to say it with me, Lome. I didn't hear you, say it again, ready? Lome. It's got about a million people. That's a really big city. The population of the whole country is about 5.9 million. And just like here in the United States, they speak a lot of different languages, but French is their official language. Just like English is our official language, here in the United States, although we speak a lot of different languages. There's a lot of different people groups um, that make up the nation of Togo. You can kind of see all the different uh, tribes and, and where people come from. Um, just like here in the United States, we have people from all over that come and make up the culture in which we live in. Now the religions that make up Togo that means the primary belief system of the people that live in that country, 
they kind of vary, which means it kind of depends on who you talk to, much like here in the United States. But most people would put themselves in one of these categories. They would say they were an animist, which means um, they believe that God is in certain things, like a tree or grass or something like that. Muslim, Roman Catholic, or Protestant. Our church, Family Worship Center, is a Protestant church. A lot of the people, because stories get passed down from generation to generation by, by telling, by word, um, not a lot of people are able to read. They're not very literate. And so there's a lot of things they'll take one snippet from one belief religion and combine it with another belief system and they kind of make up a hodgepodge of things that they believe. Now this can be really dangerous because they might have a piece of the truth and then they combine it with something that's not true and that can be really dangerous. So why missions? Why does it matter what happens to people in Togo? Well, Matthew 28, 19 and 20 tells us as the disciples of Jesus, disciple would be somebody who is following Jesus to go and make other disciples. That means go to school, go to work, go to your neighbor, go to another country. Basically, it means your life needs to and your faith in Jesus needs to be lived out loud so you can talk and share and live it in front of other people. Sometimes that means going to another country like Togo. Let's check out this song and learn Matthew 28, 19, and 20. If you want to do the motions with them, have at it. I'd love to see some pictures. super cool about that video number one it comes straight from scripture so if you can sing along with it by the end you just memorized Matthew 28 verses 19 and 20 the other thing that I really like about the pictures that that's putting up as they're singing and doing the motions you see people of all different ages you see people of all different colors and what that tells us is that it does not matter the color of your skin. It does not matter how much money you have. It does not matter where you live, whether it be in a house, in a nursing home, in a different country, it doesn't matter. Our job is to share what we know and have experience with Jesus with those that we meet and those that we encounter. Sometimes that means 
at school just living out what it means to love Jesus. Sometimes that might mean going to a different country. And sometimes it means being right here in the city that you're in right now. But either way, all of us can share what we know about Jesus and what we've experienced with Jesus. If you have experienced that Jesus is your king, he rules over your heart, you look to him to tell you how to live your life, then you have experienced salvation in Jesus. You are experiencing his love and his joy and his peace and you're continuing to grow in that. Now you get to share that with someone else. And part of sharing we do when we give money to BGMC. Here's an object lesson that I want to show you. You can do this at your house, but I want to show you um, something that might help you remember what it's like to follow Jesus as you then share and tell others. So here's something else you can do while you're at home. You can find a blindfold. Uh, we happen to have one. You can also use a bandana or um, any other sort of something that you can just tie around your eyes. Um, do not use a plastic bag. But what you're going to do is you're going to put the blindfold on. So Emily's going to put her blindfold on. And you can see we've set out a backpack and we've set out a stuffed animal. And Emily's going to listen to my direction so that she doesn't hit those obstacles that are in her way. Go forward, Emily. Oh God, it's scary. Okay, don't go to the right. Go to the left. <laughs> nope, other way. <laughs> oh, you're right. See, boys and girls, there we go. Okay, go forward. Woo, you're safe. <laughs> you see, boys and girls, the purpose of that object lesson, although it's kind of funny to see everybody kind of get, try to give directions, like, in this school, I gave the wrong direction. Um, and it's kind of funny to see what everybody does. But the purpose of that object lesson is to remind us that, you know, as we go through life, we're going to have difficult things that we face. We're going to have things that we need to avoid. We're going to have things that we have to step over or step around. Things that are difficult. And when we walk with Jesus and we listen to his voice, just like our verse on our palm tree says, the godly flourish like palm trees. So when we listen to God's voice, he's going to help us to maneuver those obstacles and he's going to help us to walk in the right way. So how have we helped share the good news in Togo? So one thing... As you're walking with Jesus and you face something that's difficult and you hear that voice that says, go the other way or watch out or try this instead. Or even sometimes I missed it. I tripped and fell and it was really hard. You hear that voice that says, here's grace. Let me help you up and we'll try again. You have something to share with your words and how you treat other people how we can help and share as a group one way that we can share is by giving our money to BGMC and here's a little bit of what our money that we have given to BGMC what it's done to share the good news in Togo so in Togo they are building Sunday school shelters for kids most of the communities are very spread out very poor so they don't have a space for the kids that means for the kids to come they don't have a clubhouse to go into they don't have a nursery they don't have a preschool room they go outside if it's raining if it's really really hot in the sun they go outside now it's a pretty simple shelter but I tell you what if it were really really hot I'd rather be under the shade there or if it was raining really hard, I'd rather be under the protection of that and be able to sit on the bench instead of sitting in the dirt or the mud if it was raining. So your money that you've given to BGMC has helped provide these children with a place 
that they can go and be able to focus and learn about Jesus. So that's really awesome. Another thing that the money that we've given to BGMC that has helped to do is to provide Bible schools for people in Togo so that they can learn what the Bible says and they can become pastors and start more churches and they can do it in the specific languages that they know there that live in Togo because they live there so they already know that but what they don't have is the Bible training and so we're helping to provide them with the Bible training so that they can go and tell people in their own language about Jesus so they're taking what they've learned so they can share it with others pretty cool now here's a challenge for you before we close I'm gonna put this picture on the screen your job is to figure out based on the pictures there what this verse says I'll give you a little bit of time to look at it see if you can figure it out hopefully you've been trying it as I've been talking okay if you're not done take a picture have somebody take a picture so you can try to look at it later here's what it says Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth. Do you get it? There's all the ends, all you ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is no other. Isaiah 45 22. My personal favorite is the cow. There's no other. Ha 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 ha. Okay, hopefully you got it. If you did, give a like. So I'll know that you that you you got it figured out. Now here's one more thing that you can do while you're at home if you've got some extra time to kind of help you remind you about Togo. Emily's going to be helping us with an activity that you can do right in your own home. All you're going to need is some paper, a writing utensil of your choice, and hopefully a green and a brown marker or crayon or colored pencil. Um, see, in Togo, it's hot, and so the trees are not like our trees. They have palm trees. So we're going to do an activity where you learn to draw a palm tree. Okay, Emily's got a black marker and a blank piece of paper. She is putting her whole hand and as much of her, her arm as will go on there as possible. And she's got her fingers all spread out and she's just tracing her fingers and her hand. And she's also including as much as her of her arm as will go on the paper. Because see in Togo they have palm trees and Psalms 92 12 says that the godly will flourish like palm trees. Once you do your paper, it should look something like that. Now, let's look at the next part. You're going to take your green and your brown, and you're going to color in the leaves green and the trunk of the tree brown. Okay, so uh, th this is my finished product. As you can see, my picture is all colored. I have um, some little coconuts here. As an extra, you do not have to add them. I did that. Um, you can add a sun, ocean, sand, dolphins jumping out of the water, whatever you would like. Even sea lions on sea rocks, but you guys do not have to. You can just have the plain palm tree. Yeah, so, I mean, it could be any, like, it can be anything. There could be a rainbow above it. Like, anything. Use your imagination. So, how does these, how do these palm trees remind us of Togo? Let's go see what's next. So Psalms 92, 12, and I want you to go find your Bible and go look it up right now. Ready? Go, 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 go. I'm going to go. Okay. Psalms 92, 12 says that the godly flourish like palm trees. What that means is those that are following after Jesus and are doing what Jesus says and they're taking time to, to get to know Jesus and spend time with Jesus, that he's going to help them grow up big and strong. And he uses the picture of a tree to kind of compare us to. And he says, you're going to be big and strong like the palm tree. So when we look at this picture, we can remember two things. We can remember 
to pray for Togo, and we can remember to that we are God's people when we're following after Jesus, and He's going to grow us big and strong like a palm tree. So you can see Emily wrote Psalms 92:12 on her paper, and then she chose to write the words around the side of the paper. Um, and you can do this in all kinds of different ways. But you need to write the verse on there so you remember that, number one, we can pray for our missionaries in Togo. And number two, that in Jesus, God's going to grow us up to be tall and strong, just like a palm tree. Okay, so here's what the verse says. Psalms 92, 12. The godly will flourish like palm trees. Share a picture of your created palm tree in the comments. We'd love to see them. So here's some ways that you can be praying for the people of Togo as you draw your palm tree and you can hang it up someplace to, to remember because, you know, the reality is that if I might be a godly person and God's going to help me flourish like a tree, but you know what? I want other people to flourish like trees. I want you guys to flourish like big, tall, strong palm trees. And so we want the people in Togo to have that same opportunity to grow like the palm trees that are around them. So you can pray for the missionaries and the pastors. You can pray that God would call more pastors for the churches. You would pray for those who are trapped in false religions, um, who are living in fear of change and that Jesus can help bring them peace. But you can also pray for the kids and young people in Togo, that they would learn about Jesus and who he is and that he loves them so much. Okay, it is my favorite part, prayer time! So let's pray for our missionaries. Dear Lord, please help our missionaries to stay, stay, stay safe and not catch COVID. We don't want that because we're already quarantined, so that would be terrible. So please do let that not happen. Help them to spread the gospel with joy and help peace to fall over that community. In Jesus' name, amen. So as we close today, thanks for watching with us. I hope that we'll be back together again safely and soon. Um, for all those who are going to be starting school before I see you again, I'm praying that you have a great year. I'm praying for all of you that have already started back. Let's close with one more word of prayer, and then I will see you guys next time. Lord Jesus, thank you for each and every person that has watched this video. Lord, I pray that you would watch over them as they go into school, whether they be adult or student. Lord, would you watch over them? Would you help them to flourish like palm trees because they are following after you and they're walking with you? Lord, I pray that as they walk through their days that you would give them directions and how to, how to walk and how to avoid those obstacles and how to get around them when they come up in front of them. Lord, I pray that you would give them opportunity to share what they know about who you are. You're a good God. You're our King. And we praise you and we worship your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Bye, boys and girls. Bye, moms and dads. I hope to see you soon.
So here's something else you can do while you're at home. You can find a blindfold. Uh, we happen to have one. You can also use a bandana or um, any other sort of something that you can just tie around your eyes. Um, do not use a plastic bag. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the blindfold on. So Emily's gonna put her blindfold on. And you can see we've set out a backpack and we've set out a stuffed animal. And Emily's gonna listen to my direction so that she doesn't hit those obstacles that are in her way. Go forward, Emily. <laughs> it's scary. Yes. Okay, don't go to the right. Go to the left. <laughs> nope, other way. Ow. Oh, you're right. See, boys and girls, there you go. Okay, go forward. Woo, you're safe. You see, boys and girls, the purpose of that object lesson, although it's kind of funny to see everybody kind of get, try to give directions, like as well as I get the wrong direction. Um, and it's kind of funny to see what everybody does. But the purpose of that object lesson is to remind us that, you know, as we go through life, we're gonna have difficult things that we face. We're gonna have things that we need to avoid. We're gonna have things that we have to step over or step around, things that are difficult. And when we walk with Jesus and we listen to his voice, just like our verse on our palm tree says, the godly flourish like palm trees. So when we listen to God's voice, He's going to help us to maneuver those obstacles and he's going to help us to walk in the right way. Emily's going to be helping us with an activity that you can do right in your own home. All you're going to need is some paper, a writing utensil of your choice, and hopefully a green and a brown marker or crayon or colored pencil. Um, see, in Togo, it's hot, and so the trees are not like our trees. They have palm trees. So we're going to do an activity where you learn to draw a palm tree. Okay, Emily's got a black marker and a blank piece of paper. She is putting her whole hand and as much of her arm as will go on there as possible. And she's got her fingers all spread out and she's just tracing her fingers and her hand. And she's also including as much as her, of her arm as will go on the paper. Because see in Togo they have palm trees and Psalms 92.12 says that the godly will flourish like palm trees. Once you do your paper, it should look something like that. Now let's look at the next part. You're gonna take your green and your brown and you're gonna color in the leaves green and the trunk of the tree brown. Okay, so uh, th this is my finished product. As you can see, my picture is all colored. I have um, some little coconuts here as an extra. You do not have to add them, I did that. Um, you can add a sun, ocean, sand, dolphins jumping out of the water, whatever you would like. Even sea lions on sea rocks, but you guys do not have to. You can just have the plain palm tree. Yeah, so I mean, it could be any, like it can be anything. There could be a rainbow above it. Like anything, use your imagination. So, how, does these, how do these palm trees remind us of Togo? Let's go see what's next. So, Psalms 92, 12. And I want you to go find your Bible and go look it up right now. Ready? Go, oh, go, oh, go, go, go. I'm going to go here. Psalms 92, 12 says that the godly flourish like palm trees. What that means is those that are following after Jesus and are doing what Jesus says and they're taking time to, to get to know Jesus and spend time with Jesus, that he's gonna help them grow up big and strong. And he uses the picture of a tree to kind of compare us to. And he says, you're gonna be big and strong 
like the palm tree. So when we look at this picture, we can remember two things. We can remember to pray for Togo, and we can remember to, that we are God's people when we're following after Jesus, and he's gonna grow us big and strong like a palm tree. So you can see Emily wrote Psalms 9212 on her paper, and then she chose to write the words around the side of the paper. Um, and you can do this in all kinds of different ways, but you need to write the verse on there so you remember that number one, we can pray for our missionaries in Togo, and number two, that in Jesus, God's gonna grow us up to be tall and strong, just like a palm tree. Okay, so here's what the verse says. Psalms 92, 12. The godly will flourish like palm trees. Share a picture of your created palm tree in the comments. We'd love to see them. Okay, it's my favorite part, prayer time! So, let's pray for our missionaries. Dear Lord, please help our missionaries to stay, stay, stay safe and not catch COVID. We don't want that because we're already quarantined, so that would be terrible. So please do let that not happen. Help them to spread the gospel with joy and help peace to follow over that community. In Jesus' name. Amen.